Hi guys, FIFA fan 0511 here today with another squad uh, builder. This is the squad that won my weekly competition on Friday. Now it's a team I really like, it will cost you around 50, 55 grand at the moment on Xbox. So yeah, I'm going to go for it. Now I realised that I forgot to film the squad builder a bit halfway through the on my team. So four players um, I have just put back in concept squads. Uh, it's not like their records really mattered. So anyway, let's get into it. In goal we have uh, Joe Hart, 82 rated, plays for Man City from England. And he costs us around 5,000 coins. Now I will say Hart is a really good keeper. Um, his 86 reflexes you'll really notice. As well as his diving. But his kicking's are underrated as well. Although his handling, yeah, fair enough, 76. He does tip a lot. And he's never really in the right position for me. Uh, otherwise though, he is a good keeper and I probably would recommend him in this kind of team. At uh, right back we have Mika Richards, uh, 77 rated, plays for Fiorentina from England and he costs around 1000 coins. Now he's a fantastic player, 86 physical you really notice with the 79 pace, makes it feel like 85 pace. And also that 64 passing stat is really underrated, I got like 2 or 3 assists of him just from long balls over the top. His long passing probably is like about 80, I wouldn't be surprised because it is just quality. At right centre back, we have Nedim Anuahart, 75 rated place for QPR from England, and he costs around 2,000 coins. Now, his key stat are obviously 83 pace as well as his 77 physical. Now, he is a very physical player. I think in his eight games, he did pick up a goal for us just because I was on all that attack and he kind of finished off as happened. But he is a very good defender. Now, he is very solid as well, so again, I would recommend picking him up because he is a budget player well budget ish anyway uh, left centre back we have Mamadou Sacco 81 rated place for Liverpool from France and he costs roughly 1000 to 1500 coins now he is again another player I would recommend picking up I mean at 83 physical and 68 pace goes along very nicely but also he is an incredible aerial threat I didn't score but I did it with crossbar three times with him just in the eight games although I will warn you, he is quite a clumsy centre back. I think he is my most booked player with three bookings, including a red card as well. So that's one thing I will watch out for. But apart from that, pace wise, strength wise, heading wise, he's a great player. Now at left back, we have Alberto Moreno, 78 rated, plays for Liverpool from Spain. And he costs us, as you can see, 5,400 coins. Now, this guy is the first time I tried him out, and honestly, he's arguably the best left back I use on this game. I mean, 87 pace, 80 dribbling, and he's up, up and back very quickly and very well with the high, high work rates. And she did pick up, a, pick us up a goal. I'll, I'll probably feature that one in the um, key goals in the end, but it will depend really. And again, 5,400 coins. I'd have to pay about 15 grand for him. He's insane. Now at right centre mid, we do have Borja Valero, 82 rated place of Fiorentina from Spain. And he cost us 850 coins. Now, as you can see, in his eight games of us, he did get three assists, um, as well as just a number of key passes and just being solid. 85 passing, 81 dribbling, key stats. But he is very well rounded. The 65 defending, I'd say, is underrated. He does put in a lot of good tackles for us, and he has got a hell of a shot on him. He did draw us a couple of corners and stuff. So at middle centre mid, this is a guy who really shot me in this team. Nigel De Jong, 81 rated, plays for AC Milan from Holland, and he costs us 2,000 coins just because he's normally a centre defensive mid, but because I was playing him centre mid, that's why. Um, anyway, I think just, this is the first time I've seen his work rates now, and honestly, I would say he's either medium high or high high. He's up the pitch hell of a lot, as you can see, with three goals and three assists in eight games. Uh, 82 physical, um, is, yeah, his shooting is incredibly underrated. All three of his goals were well taken by him. I think they like from just outside of the box or near enough. And he is again a very good centre mid that I would also pay a lot for. Now at left centre mid is Giorgino Wijnaldum, 78 rated, normally a cam, uh, plays for PSV Eindhoven from Holland and he costs us 3,400 coins. Now you will see there, 83 pace, 84 dribbling, does have 4 star, 4 star and some very all round um, stats as well with 73 shooting and 72 physical. Now he only got 1 assist but he again was one of those players that he could, because of his long shots he did draw us in a lot of corners which led to good chances and things like that. 
and he was just one of those players that you don't really like. He doesn't, as that show, get you loads of goals and assists, but you do notice him quite a lot. Now, at right forward, by far the most expensive player on the team was Juan Cuadrado. 83 rated, plays for Fiorentina from Colombia. Normally a right winger, I believe, but I was playing a right forward in this team. So, anyway, as you can see, three star week for, and on this week for five star skills, which is very noticeable. Um, in his eight games of us, he did get us 10 goals. Um, I believe he was our second top goal scorer and an assist. Also, 93 pace, 87 dribbling, and 77 shooting. Those that combined. You can tear apart left backs and defences so much with him, and he's a player that I'd highly recommend. And at left forward, we do have Memphis Depay, 78 rated plays for PSV Eindhoven from Holland. He costs us 3,300 coins, um, does have, like Quadrado, 5 star skills, 91 pace, 84 dribbling, and he was our top goal scorer in this team. Now, in his 8 games, he did get us 11 goals and 3 assists, so, and I think he picked up a hat trick or two. He did score quite a few. And um, made him look easy. It finishes very well. A couple of very well taken goals in there. So, again, I've used him before in a couple of squads and I'd recommend him. Now, up top was Victor Ebarbo, 75 rated points for Cagliari from Colombia. And he cost us 9,100 coins. Now, first thing I'll say, he's o everyone says he's OP, but not for the reasons that everyone would assume. I mean, 91 pace, 80 dribbling, 4 star skill, 78 physical. You think, oh, just put over the top to him and he'll score every time. That is definitely not the case. His finishing is awful, in all honesty. I mean, there was, I think, one or two well-taken goals, but it doesn't make up for about the 20 poorly taken chances he had. And also, that 66 passing, what I was going to say is, is 11, obviously he's got 11 assists there. Now, there's a reason for that. His passing is so underrated, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you want someone that's going to hold the ball up well, with a bit of pace, a bit of trickery, I'd recommend a Barbo, but for 9k, he's not really worth it. Although, in this squad, he did kind of make up for it, so, yeah. Um, I'd like to find James for building me the squad, and, yeah, if you, anyone else has any other squads, please link any of my videos, really, and I'll try them out. So, yeah, the rest of this video is just going to be kind of all the goals behind it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye this team can go during this campaign Victor Ibaba it's a chance he's gone for goal that's a brilliant goal the goal from Memphis and he's just put his foot through this Martin and it's flown into the, it into the bottom right hand corner well that was the equaliser and it's 1-1 one, one. Golf in Memphis. In with the chance, and he scores spectacularly. And that's another brilliant shot and another brilliant goal. Oh. Here's the shot. Oh, they've got another one. Look again at the goal that has put them even further ahead. It is men against boys. And, uh, Safe, but the ball's still there. It's a quick break. Ibabo! Goal! The goal from Ibabo. And what a hit it is. He couldn't have struck this much. Free kick taken. Oh, past the wall, past the keeper, and into the net. Great free kick. Look at that. He's just hit it with such power. And it's blue pack with it. And that headed pass keeps the move going. In with the chance. It's a goal. They're refusing to lie down this team. No, and I think lesser teams would have done, but uh, we know that the fuller can because previously, no, oh, he wasn't at it, was he? Quadrano! And it flew in off the crossbar. the side of the bar and in well he struck it so sweetly and he takes the shot off and they've got this equalizer Mar 
harmless goal here. I think the goal scorers may keep this attack going by going to the left. It's got to be. That's a brilliant goal. The goal for Memphis has seen it coming and cope with it. Well, that's a problem for the player. He's uh, pulled up, definitely injured. Here's the chance, and a goal! And the keeper...